What's up guys? So today's gonna be a little different. Uh, today I'm gonna be installing a resonator delete pipe on this 2008 R32. And since I like the car so much, I decided to film it and show you guys how to do it. And plus it makes another video on the channel so you guys can watch it. All right, so this is my girlfriend's 2008 R32. Yeah, so she, uh, as I said in the last video, she had recently uh, picked this up and um, we're planning on doing some some light modifications to it. So she bought a, a resonator delete, which is going to make the car louder. Hopefully it's not too loud, but she does want it to sound a little bit more sporty. So um, yeah, I'm going to uh, later on. I'm, like I said in the other video, I'm planning on doing a review on this thing just because it looks so nice. She also has a GTI, but she's trying to sell that because, as I said, she got the R32. So I'm gonna show you guys a clip of of the like the stock exhaust before the the resonator delete. Alright, so that's how the stock exhaust sounds. So we pretty much got this kit, the resonator delete from ECS Tuning. And what you get in the in the box is gonna be some clamps. Two clamps to clamp this thing in. And then and then you get this pipe that's gonna delete the resonator. So there's a pipe and there's the clamps and that's pretty much all you need to install it. So right there, there's a little hose, a vacuum hose, that opens the exhaust flap. And this tailpipe, there's an exhaust flap in there. Make sure you take that hose off so you don't like tear it. All right guys, so I took the front exhaust hanger off in front of the resonator. And then in the back, so there's only one hanger up front. And then for the back, these are the exhaust tips. There's a hanger right here, 13 millimeter. One in there, 13. So take those two off. And then down here, the last hanger, take those two 13s off. And then you should be able to take down the, the resonator with the muffler. There's another hanger right there that I forgot to mention. So there's one in front of the resonator. There's gonna be one behind it, and then the two that are holding the muffler on, which are back there. Sorry for the crappy angles, but 
it's pretty tight in here. Alright, so take this one off. Just use a pry bar and it comes off. Just like that. All right guys, so there's the exhaust. So I'll show you guys all the hangers. One in front of the resonator, one behind it or after it, and then for the back, there's just two bolts. And then this is a hanger right here. So these two bolts, 13s, and then there's a hanger over here. I think for the front two uh, hangers, I think it's easier if you just use a pry bar. You can use the exhaust and just pry on it, pry on the hanger, and then they should come out. Use some WD-40. I use some WD-40 on them. It makes it easier to, to, to make them slide out. So yeah, there's the exhaust. Oh, and this is the clamp. This is the clamp that holds the back, well, the rest of the exhaust to like the cats or whatever. This goes right here. So all you gotta do is undo, just undo the two 13s right there, and then it'll loosen up the clamp, and then just undo the hangers and everything, and then just slide the exhaust back. That's all you have to do for this clamp. All right, so this is uh, the resonator delete pipe, and pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this section right here. So if I just put it over it, see the hangers right there, the hangers right here for the pipe. We're pretty much gonna put this pipe and cut this the resonator out. So if you look up the instructions, it says you should cut four inches from this point right here. So we're gonna measure out, or I'm gonna measure out four inches, and then I'm gonna cut it. guys so we cut off the muffler so the muffler is apart and then this is the pipe that's going in it comes with uh, two clamps I've already uh, test fit a clamp on here and then this clamp is gonna go on the back obviously so yeah let's get ready for it to go back in All right, so I pretty much started the bolts for the muffler in the back. And then um, for this pipe, I just put the hanger on so I can hold it while I line up both pipes so I can put the clamp on.
Alright guys, so everything installed. The front clamp right there. I put this brace back on. Go down the line. There's the other clamp. And then the rest of the exhaust going back there. So all the clamps are tight. So I just need to drop the car and then see see how it sounds. Alright guys, so that was a, a quick and a pretty easy install, if any of you guys want to do that. This is on a 2008 Volkswagen R32, and yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.